Hey everybody, Mags here. We are going to review some of the hints and tips that we've been given this year on the Dynasty Hot Seat. If you are new here, do me a favor, can you like, comment, share on this video for me, please, like you can see here. And then also, if you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button too? It really helps out, right? On to the hints and tips. So the first one um, for, for new Dynasty players, I'd say... And this comes with a little bit of a caveat to start with, but don't own the top dynasty assets. And what I mean by that is the dynasty community play dynasty as a stock market. And as mm -hmm. a stock market, you don't hold the top assets because you sell at the peak. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we go back two years, um, Michael Thomas was taken in the first round of dynasty startups and look where he is now. He's going in the, I've seen him later than the 10th round. Mm. I mean, the only caveat I would put to that is quarterbacks and tight ends. So I'm, I'm probably more talking running backs or wide receivers here. But, yeah. um, quarterbacks, you've got the longevity. Uh, they don't tend to fall off as quickly. And then tight ends, if you don't own a top tight end, um, if you if you listen to the Five Yard Dynasty podcast, you know I absolutely hate tight end premium. So um, that's in my notes. He hates tight end. Literally, <laughs> tight end premium here written first thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like it. Uh, that's a whole different conversation. We won't go through that now. But yeah, um, if you don't own a top tight ends, uh, there's no point owning a middling one because the, the the gap between the top tight ends and the middling ones is the same as a middling one and a really low end tight end. Yeah. So yeah. I'd say don't own a top dynasty asset in the wide receiver or running back position just because they can fall off so quickly. Um, mm. I'd rather trade down, gain some more value um, elsewhere and try and recoup that value by taking a couple more shots elsewhere. Um, yeah. Coming over to number two, um, I would say always trade with a purpose. And this is something that I had to learn the hard way, especially at this time of year a lot of people will trade just for the sake of it and they'll mm. just send offers out with no idea why they're sending an offer out it just seems fair and they'll send it out and people don't think about the next steps even if you're trading for three trades down the line because that's where you want to be but you know you've got to make some trades to get there that's fine but what I'm saying is don't just send an offer out because it's fair know why you're sending that offer out why are you sending that offer out and what is that offer going to do for your team? So do you want a, a better, younger running back? Do you want a, an older wide receiver because you're going for a, a title? So you want to try and get some more value. So always trade with a purpose. Yeah. Um, and then the last one, um, which was possibly the toughest one, the first two I came up really quickly with, because they're both things that I'm really passionate about. But the last one was really difficult for me to try and think of because there's just so many things for Dynasty. It's such a huge beast. Um, but be the best in your league or be the worst. And what, what I mean by this is either be the 101 or the 102 um, and be absolutely appalling during the season and secure a high draft pick or be yeah. a, a championship winning team. That if you're in the middle and you're just scraping into the playoffs and um, that that's okay, I suppose, during the season, but come the off season, you lose so much value by not being in the, uh, by being in the playoffs and not being in the toilet bowl or the consolidation bracket, however your league does it. Mm -hmm. If you're not getting that championship, you lose so much value just for trying to get there. So I'd always say be at the top of your, league and um, win your championship or mm. always be one of the first two picks yeah i absolutely love those hints and tips and what's really nice about them is they they all kind of bleed into each other quite nicely like once you have that yeah mindset of you know i'm a championship team so what can i do i'm going to make trades for these older guys because i I'm, i want to win right now so i can take these older guys in exactly. and i can hold on to those higher assets that you talked about or on the flip side i don't think i can win so I'm going to sell 
everyone, I don't care if it's CD Lamb, I'm going to sell them. I don't care if it's, you know, yeah. J.K. Dobbins or, or Cam Akers, I'm going to sell them because I can't win this year. So why am I holding on to these people whose value is just going to go down and down and down? And exactly. yeah, I think that's absolutely brilliant advice to people. It's you're either in or you're out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Remember, like this video, leave a comment if you want and subscribe to the channel. These videos are going to be coming thick and fast. So you don't want to miss anything. So that's it for today. In the meantime, keep yourselves, keep your teams lit. We'll see you next time.